Hey everybody, my name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching today. During this time where we are all limited because of the coronavirus, as a church, we are wanting to spread encouragement and spread God as much as we can. So we are going to be posting videos Sunday through Friday. We believe that in times of crisis, we as a church need to step up and be the light of the world like never before. Check out this message from Pastor Lisa. Hey, Faith World family. It's so good to be with you all today. I just get really happy when I think about sharing the Word of God with you, and it's just such a blessing to do that. I'm going to be talking about taking the strength of God. You know, sometimes we're really built up and going strong and, uh, you know, just spiritually we're, we're on the rails, if you, could, if you could put it like that. But, you know, then there's other times when we're just kind of fizzled out. <laughs> we're just not energetic. We've got no energy. We feel really scattered. And, you know, that's a good time to take the strength of God. You know, you can take the strength of God, spirit, soul, and body. And if you follow the word, there's a pattern in there that really shows us how we can lay hold of God's strength in our life. And so I just want to share that with you today, if I could. You know, um, over in Psalms chapter 46 and verse 1, we're going to read over there. But one of the first things that you can do is you can remind yourself that God is your help. You know, you might be facing something or something may have happened in your life that's kind of knocked you off of your feet. What will strengthen you, what will help you is just to remember that God is your helper and that God is faithful. I encourage you just to take some time, just write some things down, markers in your life, times in your life. If you've served God for any amount of time, you already have testimonies in your life of when God has helped you, he met you right where you were at. He gave you exactly what you needed. He strengthened you and he helped you. And I tell you, that's the faithfulness of God. How many has got a testimony of the faithfulness of God? My hand is up. Both hands are up. God has been faithful to me. And it'll just really bless you to think about those times. Let me read this verse to you. It's Psalms 46, 1, and I'm going to read it out of the living Bible. So listen carefully. It says, God is our refuge and strength. Just say that out loud. God is my refuge and God is my strength. It goes on to say a tested help. You know, there's some things that are untested. You don't know whether they can bear the weight of it. You don't know if they can really help you because it's not been tested out. But you know what? God is a tested help. He has proven time and time again that His help is the very help that will really help you. His help is the help that you need. So our God is our refuge and our strength. A tested help, I like how the King James says it, an ever-present help in times of trouble. That encourages you. That strengthens your heart when you just think about that. God is an ever-present help in times of trouble. You know, right where you're at, you can just lift up your heart to God and acknowledge that. Say, God, I thank you that you're my help. I acknowledge that you're the help and the strength of my life. You're with me. You're in me to give me the help I need right now. Listen to verse two. It says, and so we need not fear, even if the world blows up. You know, that's a pretty extreme thing to happen. That's an extreme circumstance if the whole world were to blow up. But you know, we're seeing extreme circumstances right now the day that we live in. I mean, who would have ever thought that the whole world would come at a halt, that the economy would come to a standstill, not just in America, but all over the world. You know, we're going to face extreme things, extreme circumstances. But he said, there's no need to fear, even if the world blows up and the mountains should crumble into the sea. He said, let the oceans roar and foam. Let the mountains tremble. There is a river of joy flowing through the city of our God, the sacred home of the God above all gods. God himself is living in that city. 
Therefore, it stands unmoved despite the turmoil everywhere. Look at this. He will not delay his help. Let that strengthen you today. If you need strength, if you need help in the circumstance you're in, this is the kind of helper that you have. He won't delay his help to you. Hallelujah. He's such an awesome God. He's such an awesome help to us. And I don't know about you, but that strengthens my heart. That helps me to take strength in God. Then I want to talk to you about this. And if you listen to me preach a lot, you hear me talk about this all the time. And that is speaking your faith. Speak your faith out loud. You know, that will strengthen you. You know, David did that. Paul did that. Abraham did that. They took what they believed. They took the word of God and they spoke it out of their mouth. Listen to David in Psalms 116 and verse 7. He says, return unto thy rest, O my soul. Notice this. He's talking to himself. And he says, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death and mine eyes from tears and my feet from falling. You know what he's doing? He's remembering. He's remembering the faithfulness of God. He's remembering all the times that God has helped him. And he's rehearsing this out loud. He says, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. You know what that is? That's a statement. That is him stating, I'm going to walk in victory. Hallelujah. He spoke his faith out loud. He goes, I was greatly afflicted. And I said in my haste, all men are liars. But then he goes on to say this, what shall I render unto the Lord for all of his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. He remembered the goodness of God in his life. He remembered all the times God had helped him. He remembered the faithfulness of God and then he spoke his faith out loud and it encouraged his heart. I'm going to tell you something. Learn how to talk to yourself. Learn how to speak out of your mouth the goodness of God, what the promises of God say about you. You know, I just finished not too long ago a, a series on words, life-changing words. And we went scripture after scripture, you know, how the Lord, he loads me with benefits. I walk in the abundant life. The Lord has made me glad. He's made me to reign in life. You know, just speaking out the word and speaking out what you believe, it encourages your own heart and it helps you to take hold of the strength of God in your life. I'm here to tell you there's strength for you, but you got to lay hold of it. It's not just going to grab you. <laughs> you got to take hold of it. And this is how you do it by remembering the Lord, remembering he's your help. He's been faithful and then speak out loud your faith. Amen. Praise God. I just want to pray with you real quick. Father, thank you so much for the faith of God that belongs to us. No matter what it is that's happening in people's lives, whether they're facing things, whether something has happened, whether uh, they need to recover things in their life, whatever it is, Father, I thank you that they're strong in you, that they're taking hold of the strength of God today. They're not just going to sit back and feel frazzled or, or feel undone, but Father, they're going to step up and build their self up in their faith. They're going to take hold of your help. They're going to remember all the times that you have helped them and, and saw them through, and that's going to encourage their heart today. We love you so much, Father. Thank you for being such a good God to us. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. We love you. You guys have a blessed week, and we will see you next time. Remember that God is more than enough for you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. 
The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow. But before you go, here are some announcements to keep you informed with what's going on at Faith World Church. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining us for our online service today. If it is your first time joining us, make sure to send us a message to let us know that you tuned in today. If you're looking for a home church, we encourage you to join the Faith World family. We have a great time together serving and winning the lost and learning about the life that we have in Christ. So if you don't have a church family, we say to you, welcome home. Now let's find out what's going on at the church. This upcoming Saturday and every Saturday, we're having an outreach day from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in our Hammett Campus parking lot. We'll be handing out free groceries to the people of our community. And if you would like to help bag or distribute groceries, make sure to call the church and someone will get back with you. If you haven't downloaded our church app, what are you waiting for? You can hear our sermon archive, you can give, you can find out about church events all on your phone. Just type in Faith World Church in your app store and download yours today. Hey church, every week is blessing week. We're asking that during this season together as a church, let's find ways to be a blessing to our neighbors and our community. No matter what is happening, we can always find ways to be a blessing to the people around us. Check on a neighbor, bring a pizza to a family, bless a store clerk, call and encourage someone. Just reach out every day. It'll make a big difference. Remember that you are blessed to be a blessing. Hey man, it's time to make plans for this year's men's retreat. It's gonna be August 24th through 27th at Convict Lake. You'll enjoy outdoor activities like fishing and hiking and more than anything, great fellowship. Call the church and sign up today. Thank you so much for being with us today. Make sure to follow us on our Instagram and join our other online broadcast services through our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. You can also continue to sow financial seed by texting Faith World to 1-888-364-GIVE. Or you can give online at our church app by searching in your app store for Faith World Church for whatever device you have. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.